I'm just like, come on. Please, like, no. No, Blake, I swear. While police are meant to safeguard citizens, what happens when they abuse their authority and inflict harm on civilians? Here are four instances when cops misuse their power, starting with these officers who caused a man to lose an eye. Around midnight on October 16th, 2022, 25-year-old Blake Anderson, employed as a security personnel at Good Batch Hookah Lounge in Inglewood, California, was escorting a customer to her vehicle in the lounge's parking lot when something unexpected happened. Without provocation, Los Angeles police officers exited their patrol cars and attacked Blake, transforming what initially seemed to be an uneventful evening into a highly chaotic event. Blake resisted, and his reaction wasn't entirely unwarranted, given that he was taken by surprise, forcefully pushed against the wall, and brought to the ground by the officers. Their lack of identification, which was unusual for police officers, also made this unpopular arrest seem more like an abduction. The officer aimed the gun directly at Blake's head, an absurd move considering Blake was unarmed, and despite the crowd repeatedly shouting that Blake was an employee at the club, their pleas fell on deaf ears. The bystanders also urged Blake not to resist, a wise suggestion given his current circumstances. However, the struggle persisted, and one of the officers did something even more extreme. Come on, do what you gotta do, Blake, come on. Please, Blake, no. No, Blake, I swear. No, Blake. Blake, don't fight back. No, Blake. Ooh, he did nothing. He did nothing. He was walking with me. He did nothing. Blake, do not let them do anything, Blake. I'm trying my permission. Okay. The officer forcefully slammed Blake's head onto the ground, and to make matters worse, he brandished and aimed his gun at the crowd. An action that was, to say the least, completely out of line, Blake suffered a ruptured and permanently damaged right eye, requiring surgical removal. Additionally, he endured a dislocated shoulder and several brain hematomas. The officers claimed that Blake, supposedly on active parole, was found in possession of a firearm, a watery excuse for their excessive use of force. Blake faced charges of felony possession of a firearm, felony possession of ammunition, and assault on a peace officer with a firearm. Subsequently, Blake filed a lawsuit against the Los Angeles PD and the state of California, and as of now, the case is still ongoing. While the actions of these officers were unacceptable, the next officer did something even more shocking. Let me see your hands! Go ahead with that. Got him on 911. A high speed chase in Ohio left the cops no choice but to deflate a truck's tires. Jadarius Rose, the truck driver, evaded a state trooper's vehicle inspection in Jackson County, proceeding north through Ross and Pickaway counties, and eventually reaching Circleville after around 40 minutes. Stop to me. It's time to get down, bro. I got you on taste. I got you on Hey! 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 Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. After a reassuring call with 911 where he admitted to being scared, he came out with his hands in the air, but the sight of numerous officers pointing guns at him made him hesitant to move any further. What happened next took everyone by surprise. Get on the fucking ground or I'm gonna send the door. Here. You're gonna get the fucking dog sick. Get on the ground or you're gonna get bit. Police canine, you're gonna get bit. Please, canine, you're gonna get bit. Final chance, you're gonna get bit. Ryan Speakman, a canine officer who had just arrived at the scene already under control, walked up with his dog and ordered Rose to get on the ground or he would get bit. Ready to advise circle that'll stop there, it's fields of fire. Tell them to stop there if they got a dog. Circle PD has a dog. They do have a dog, he's right there. That's a dog, come to me. You don't want bit! You're gonna get the fucking dog sick. Get on the ground. You're gonna get bit. Watch Come your field of fire go less lethal! You're gonna get bit. Estrada, less lethal! Final chance! 
You can hear the other officers telling Speakman to use less than lethal options. However, he decided to take matters into his own hands. Sir, here! Here! Still! Still! Here, Nay! Nay, here! Still! No, 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 Speakman's lack of control over his dog became apparent when the canine initially approached the other troopers while Rose was already on his knees. A more effective command over the dog could have prevented it from attacking Rose in that situation. Real quick, I'm gonna advise you of your rights, man. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, Cannon will be. I don't know why they seem like pissed off at me. I don't know. He didn't comply. I gave him three commands. I told him, final warning. If you don't get on the ground, you're going to get the dog. Well, that's why they seem mad at me for it. He wasn't complying. I mean, am I wrong? I, I think it's pretty well, I think it's a justifiable bite. In the immediate aftermath of the incident, with officers tending to Rose's injured arm, Speakman seemed compelled to justify his actions as Rose questioned his decision to release the dog. It's sad how this officer slips by, leaving his outrageous behavior unchecked. Medics arrived and Rose was treated and released from a hospital before being taken to the Ross County Jail. According to a case report from the Ohio State Highway Patrol, which notes he faced a charge of failure to comply with an order or signal by a police officer, a fourth-degree felony. Officer Ryan Speakman was initially placed on paid administrative leave but ultimately terminated for breaching his duties. His dismissal resulted from his dishonesty with superiors regarding the unauthorized sharing of confidential details of the incident. While officers have many weapons at their disposal, the next officer had no choice but to get into a fist fight. How we doing, bud? Oh, shit. Better, huh? What's going on, man? Uh, okay. you see this What's going on, ma'am? Well, my daughter, she just like flipped out a while ago. I bought a money deal. <laughs> Tell me I, was, I owe her like 40 bucks for chain hers. So she started flipping out. Yeah. She done turned over a couple totes and shit. Then I broke my glass table that was on my front porch. Okay. So yeah, she's having a trip move right now. She already got the She don't And she's been up she's trip. been in trouble with the police in the past. They said that she keeps on shooting juvenile. Go to juvenile for that. Well, they can get that's domestic. Yeah, exactly. yeah they domestic. got her for domestic. Hold on, hold on, come on. The other two officers that responded like less than a week ago about the same type of shit. Them little motherfuckers didn't do shit. And it's oh, been an just... ongoing damn thing. And she's one point away from juvenile, but they won't take her. Yeah. Well, that has nothing to do with us, as far as them taking her or not. You know what I mean? A police officer responded to a concerned parent's call regarding her daughter's misbehavior, with the parent expressing a desire for the daughter to be arrested. However, upon the officer's arrival, the situation took an unexpected turn. But what, uh... Correct. But... Where's she at? Man, she, did you make a big ass circle know. around here? She ain't, she couldn't I have gone far. 50 feet. Sure. All the time I told her to get to the she man. turned up about three toes in my house. She busted a glass table, which table's no good, but she still had no business breaking my glass Absolutely. table. Absolutely. Absolutely. She and took off. Yeah, Do you know which way she went? No, that I didn't way. see. I was she went that way. She, went, she, she went that way. 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 She
You want to see if you can find her? I mean, we got at least criminal damage. Officer Rosario was listening to the parents' explanation when 19-year-old Robert Humes, a sibling, interrupted, expressing frustration about a previous police response a week ago concerning the lack of action taken and that juvenile detention declined to accept his sister into jail. Initially showing mild annoyance, Rosario refocuses on the matter and dispatches his partner, Officer Orlando Manzanares, to search for the sister. Criminal damage, that's domestic. Come on, she at least getting two charges. And if y'all don't give her both charges, I want both y'all badge numbers. Oh, here goes the now, badge I ain't numbers. going for that. Y'all. Well, you know what? No offense, but if you're gonna hear, okay, keep walking then. Keep walking then. Yeah, he always says that badge number and all this. Thing. He just goes yeah, for, first of all, you're not a police officer, right? Well, I know exactly Did you go to law school? Did exactly you go to police officer but school? Like, exactly you have a badge? Did you go through the academy? No. I'm so, do you know court. the charges or no? Man, I so, you went to court once or twice, so all of a sudden now you know the law? No, no. So, you went to court once or twice, so all of a sudden now you know the law? First of all, don't tell me how to do my job. All right? I'm gonna, I just fucking got here. I just got here. You don't even know me. If you want to do something, do something then, son. Little kid. Little kid. Humes isn't bothered by the street talk. In fact, he feels motivated because he's getting to Rosario. Is your camera on? You see that red dot? It's what? on. It's on. on. It's on with no your fuck. scary ass. Okay, scared, sure. You sure. sure. No, you watch what you say. You watch what you say. You watch what you say, kid. I don't know who you think you're talking to, but first of all, you don't talk to me like that. You understand that? I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you. And all of a sudden, before I even got here, you're like, y'all motherfuckers ain't gonna do shit. I just got here. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you with your scary ass. I'm right here, motherfucker. You're a rookie, bitch. I'm right here. You're a rookie, bitch. Shut up. Bitch, that's police brutality. Is it? Yeah, bitch. Is it because you went to court once or twice? What you mean? I know my laws, bitch. The mom, who initially called the police, now faced the unusual task of defusing a conflict between her son and a uniformed officer. Rosario tried to go back to the business of his call, turned to the mom and asked if her daughter had hit her that day. But Humes is still digging in. You scared, bitch. You fucking scared. As soon as I put my hands on your punk ass, I know how it's going to go. I, I'm not even going to take you to jail. I'll give you the freedom of that. Man, you a goddamn liar. You want to put one or two? Shit. Really? See, I'm not stupid. You ain't about to mace me. Man. I won't even... Ma oh, ma I'm turning down my radio God. so I can really? hear the bullshit coming out of your mouth. Really? I call you out here for my purpose, and you yeah. and my son are... Come on now, really. Well, first of all, your son's got a fucking mouth on him. Yep. And now I can see why your daughter's acting all out of control. So, first of all, discipline needs to be an issue. All right? Shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. He informed the mother that her daughter could face arrest if located and inquired about the daughter's possible whereabouts. Emphasizing that it's not right for a parent to owe money to their child, the situation briefly calmed down, but Humes got back into it. Just push me. I mean, I want that number. I push you? Yeah, you push the shit out of me, dude. Oh, really? I want that number. So you scared now? No, I ain't scared. Is that shit. what it is? I want your okay. Number, though. Okay. Look, I can't touch you, but I can touch you. Yeah, okay. Your number. Yeah, okay. You mean? I told you yeah, you could. Number. I told you you give could. Me that fucking number. Fuck you. Fuck you, you bitch. Give me that I told number. you you could. Give me that I told you. I told you, you if you want. I told you if you want to throw hands. No, I'm not gonna touch you, you bitch. Yeah, cause you scared. Cause you scared, dude. Cause you scared, dude. You run your mouth, but you scared. I just ain't gonna get in that charge on no. You run your mouth. He's scared. I just told. I wasn't gonna arrest him. I told I'm not even gonna tase you. I'm not even gonna mace you. I'm gonna give you these hands, and you're still gonna run your mind. You're still scared. You scared. Am I right or am I wrong? You scared, right? Is that how we do it on the east side, right? You want these hands? You can have them. Dude, I'm done with you, dude. If you ain't gonna throw hands, then shut the fuck up. If you ain't gonna, if you ain't gonna fucking throw hands. Fucking do something. Yeah. Did I not just touch you? Don't do it. Don't do it. The rookie shot first. You alright? Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. He's good. Don't do it. Don't do it. So what the fuck? You done? You? Pussy bitch. Alright. Run your right. fucking mouth. Hold on. What the fuck? Done? Don't arrest him. Don't arrest him. What the fuck? Okay, See, I thought on. it was gonna be a one on one. What type of that shit was that? Enough. My partner didn't fucking do nothing. Man, you pussy ass yeah. bitch. Fuck you. Man, what's up? You scared. What's up? You got done. these hands, you scared. You scared. I'm scared, huh? Oh. We're scared. done. We're done. We ain't done. We're done. Fuck that shit. Done. We is not done on this. Done. Shit. Oh. Fuck that. Done. Shit.
The easy and right thing to do would have been to walk away and write a report, but instead Rosario rubbed in the beating by mocking Humes. However, later that evening, Rosario went back to Humes' residence and apologized. In response, Humes expressed appreciation. Despite his talk about wanting a badge number, Humes never actually bothered to file a complaint against Rosario. But it didn't end there because Officer Manzanares, troubled by the body camera footage, turned Rosario in after seeking advice. The Springfield Police Department referred the case to the Illinois State Police, resulting in Rosario's arrest for official misconduct and battery. Despite Humes initially supporting Rosario, he later sued the city. Ultimately, the Springfield Police Department terminated Samuel Rosario. Although Officer Rosario later apologized for his behavior, the next two officers showed no remorse at all. What's up, man? All right. Hey, come here, man. On July 1st, 2023, officers conducted a registration check on a vehicle with a temporary tag, discovering the plate was expired and had active warrants associated with it. After losing sight of the vehicle, they later located it parked at a family dollar in the 900 block of Copley Road, with Jordan Ely standing nearby. But the next steps they took were genuinely shocking. Don't do this. Don't do this. Please, 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 Hey, y'all need to chill. Y'all need to. Bro, I'm recording you. I'm recording you. What are you doing? Stop hitting him. He's in the phone. What the fuck? Do it now. Stop resisting. I called your hand. I called your hand. Unaware of the reason for his arrest, Ely had no chance to react before being forcefully pinned to the ground. He endured punches while the officers demanded he put his hands behind his back, an order that seemed highly unrealistic. He in high school! What is y'all doing? Stop it, dude. He bleeding him in the mouth? Y'all didn't even have to do that. Just relax. I got a lot going on. I'm gonna right. die. Just kill me off. No. Stop, dude. No. 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 Stop, dude. No. Stay right here. No. No. Stay here. No. 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 Stand up, man. Emergency medical service was called to evaluate Eli at the scene. During medical attention, Ely expressed that he wasn't trying to fight. In response, an officer mentioned the expired tags and active warrants, stating that if Ely had listened, the situation could have been avoided. Despite not providing him an opportunity to choose peaceful options, they justified their brutality. A small child identified as Ely's son was in the vehicle while he was arrested by officers and was later released to a family member. Eli was charged in Akron Municipal Court with misdemeanor resisting arrest and obstruction of official business as well as felony drug abuse after police searched his vehicle and found a baggie with white powder that field tested positive for fentanyl. In a statement, Police Chief Steve Milet said the incident would be investigated and then reviewed by the Akron Police Auditor and the Citizens Police Oversight Board. If you like this video, YouTube thinks you'll like these videos.